Hey guys, welcome back. BDCKR here. In our current trend of showcasing uh, or doing videos in a little bit shorter bite-sized chunks, getting straight to the point, we're going to be breaking up uh, online multiplayer battle, an epic battle, into uh, a bunch of short videos, each one showcasing one of the new gears. And because of that, sometimes we won't be able to tell you ahead of time before we start the video which one we're showcasing because it's going to be circumstantial. Well, not circumstantial, but situational. But you will be able to see it in the title. Right. So what we'll do is we'll do the fight. If it illustrates one particular gear really well, then we're going to go to the gear at the end of the fight and explain why it was so useful. Yeah. So chances are because it looks like there's nobody on this team with anything particularly special. We're gonna try. We'll probably do the enchantress on this one. If we can just get rid of Mr. No Special. Oh, perfect, perfect, okay. So the enchantress, you can see the skulls around his waist. And what's beautiful, watch this. Notice that there was a lag between the time that we completed our special and the skulls hit. So basically we had a chance to do an unblocked basic attack. Alright, so there's more than meets the eye with the Enchantress gear for a bunch of reasons. Hold on. And, and that was a really good showcase, actually. Okay. So the Enchantress gear. After doing a special attack, you get the Skulls Flight enemy. Each one does an extra 10% damage. So if you go back and watch the video and do it in slow motion, it looks like it only hits five times, but based on some of the numbers that we've been looking at in terms of what the final damage is and what should have happened, it, it seems like it actually hits six times. So that's plus 60% damage on any special attack, which is actually, like, really significant. The, and the life drain part, to us, isn't that significant. We've never really made teams for getting health back, and the number is relatively small, 20% of that damage. Yeah, 20% of 60%, so... But what's key is, what you saw in the video was that when there was a lag. So what will happen is, if somebody tags out after you do the special, the skulls will hit the next person. If they stay, it'll hit them, but because there's a delay, oftentimes they will break, they will stop their block, and you will hit them, and they're not blocking it. So, yeah. So even though um, you, you can't... Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, that pause means that you get one free hit, and that means Somebody like Deadshot with three hit combo ender with Razzle Ghoul Scimitar is beautiful. Yeah, so it takes advantage of the AI and essentially gives you a free hit every special after the special ends, which you normally don't get. And another thing which was really cool also is if you noticed, uh, after the flash regenerated, the skull still hit him and did damage. So even on characters who can rinse a special, if your special hit was successful, it still does some damage to them. So a character equipped with this can still do 60% of their normal damage from their special, even on characters who would otherwise not get hit by the damage. I guess we should have tried that on Justice 2 Superman, because I don't... It really, Reverse Flash is the only person that that affects, because Don Justice Batman, he dodges out of the way. Yeah. And Reverse Flash takes the hit, but he just uh, regenerates. Alright, so that's interesting, but... Definitely this, to me, out of the new gears, I, I'm really loving this because it has so much more benefit than what the gear description actually shows. Yeah. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Komoda.